So, hey guys, Chelsea here. I'm continuing my series of facing level 3 Grand Voyages with accessible teams and today it's time for Axe Hand Morgan and you need 6 dex units for this and yeah dex also have CD reduced at higher levels you need slashers and a Zoro as well but we don't need to care about that for level 3 so yeah at stage 2 you basically have guaranteed dex orbs for 2 turns, which is nice, don't have to care about orb RNG that much. Then stage 3 there's a lot of barriers, which can be annoying on some teams, maybe a little bit annoying on this team I made. Then on stage 4 you have a big hit when you enter it, but on level 3 the damage is not that big, you can tank it pretty easily. There's also some death up, damage threshold, bind the spear, and on level 3 they also add 2 turns paralysis and attack down. So quite a bit to handle on stage 4. And on stage 5 we have a lot of death up, we have special reverse, and you can do death down conditionals, but on that not much. The main issue is that the HP is really high, even at level 3, so worth to keep that in mind. So yeah. With that out of the way, we can get into the team I built, and I'm pretty happy with it. It has, well, all, all of the subs are pretty accessible at least, but yeah, the captain maybe not the most, but most people will get them eventually. I'm talking Robin and Koala, and as friend captain, we'll do the Super Sugar Soros Sanji, one of the best legends in the game, incredible for this particular content. When they get into duo form, they are a six times captain, so that's really good, of course. Can even overheal, not that it really matters for this team. Uh, there is special wheel removed, threshold and death up we saw on stage 4, so we'll use Soros Anji for that. They will also buff any attack and door boost we have, we'll get a good shame boost and a shame multiplier boost. And for the last two stages all units will be slasher free spirit. Uh, we can also use the EX since we have three of the straw hats on the team. And yeah. We'll use this final stage to get higher chain and to further to boost all of the slasher and free spirit on the team by giving them the super claws. We also have the swap of course which would be nice to get tandem orbs. We have the potential to use super tandem with this team and also just to get a bit of attack and orb boost every single turn. And yes, Sort of Sandy actually has a really good level 1 super tandem and as long as you can use the EX you can use the super tandem. Well, you need a Lufu Yamato though, important to remember. And you get a 1.75 times attack boost to Slash and Free Spirit. And then a Dex one recovery tandem orb you have is 2.75 times value. It's actually insane they keep that at level 1, since that's a really strong effect to have. And yeah, that's for Soros Anji, really strong. We'll be pairing them up with Robin and Koala, so they're one of the units for their condition and the super tandem and everything they are also up to 5.75 times captain in duo form and they also resist special reverse which is actually very useful to make this team even more accessible didn't have to think about fitting seed reducers for final stage special also strong we can get a three turn or boost and a three turn color affinity because as long as we have a color affinity when we use their special, we get an even stronger color affinity next stage, up to 2.75 times, so that's really cool. And yeah, their swap does let you get that color affinity by yourself, the super swap, 2.25 times color affinity. We also get some healing, remove threshold, doesn't matter for this team, but it's a nice bonus to have, it's mainly for the color affinity. As for the rest of the team, we have this rare recruit Stampede Frankie, haven't used him in forever, but he does have Barry Pierce and I wanted at least one Barry Pierce on this team. And he can also do an attack boost for dex units as long as you have a dex orb on the captain, which is why I put this with a support on Robin Koala. I recommend trying to get her, you need to farm story mode for that. Uh, we have this rare recruit Sanji, we'll use him to remove uh, two of the debuffs on final stage. Uh, I put the Nami support on, on uh, him, but I realized that I actually don't need it, so you can skip that because 
as you'll see when I check out this treasure map free to play Luffy. Uh, yeah. He already handles the spear and the attack down, so he handles the rest. He's mainly here because we need a Luffy. And yeah, so you need to buy him from treasure map shop, but it, you probably don't really have to max him. It might be good, but yeah, it depends on like the order you hit. You might not be able to get away with like 1000 attack, for example. Then we have this free to play wiper. He's an old Pyrumble free to play, so he's available in the Pyrumble shop. And he will give you us, he will do a self proc death down conditional. So set defense to zero, lets us avoid the death up final stage. And he also lets us do two times damage to death down enemies that will add a ton of damage. So yeah, let's jump into it. So in this playthrough, I do, do have the Nami support on Soro Sanji, but as I said, doesn't matter. The supports I didn't mention, by the way, are quick damage reduction supports. They are nice just to take as little damage as possible, stage four from that big hit, but probably not really required. So yeah, every time we swap Soro Sanji, we will get the Super Tanda. She has hit in the order I do. You might have to change a bit, depending on your investment, especially in that Luffy. If your Frankie is a lot higher invested than Luffy, I recommend moving Frankie to Luffy's spot, probably. Might mess up stage 3 a bit though, so optimally you do the same as I do. One thing I want to note as well is that if Soro Sanji has a recovery tandem orb on stage 1, uh, you will be able to swap into decks, which will give you more damage stage 4 and 5. But I'm pretty sure it won't be needed for anyone. But if you somehow lack damage stage 4 and 5, that's a way to add some extra damage. So you have to tap exactly like I do here. When you tap with Koala there, you have to manually swap to Helmeppo. And when you initiate the Super Tandem on Helmeppo, you need to tap Helmeppo again. By doing that, you're able to kill Helmeppo with Frankie's Barrier Pan. And you also take no damage. <sighs> but like, if you do take damage, it's probably fine. Since when you enter this stage, you do take damage anyway. Due to the spear. So, yeah. You don't really need to tap like I did, but... I guess it's good to learn how to optimally tap anyway, so... See, on this stage, we start off with... Sanji is special, the sub Sanji will remove the debuffs. We do Robin Koala Super Swap. This gives us the Call Affinity we need to get Call Affinity final stage. And then we use Robin Koala special. They actually remove barrier as well. So we'll be able to remove Helmetos barrier, not needed, but a nice little bonus. And then we also get that three turn war boost, which Soro Sanji will buff further. So it ends up being a three time war boost after using Soro Sanji. So that's really nice. Remember to use Luffy after Robin Koala. Otherwise, you will remove the tandem orbs and you want the tandem orbs. Uh, the support on Luffy, I forgot to mention before, is the free to play treasure map Jinbei. Can also be found in the treasure map shop. You just need enough copies for the support to lock the orbs. And you have used the Soros Honey Super Shop and Special, save the EX for final stage. We do more than enough damage, as you see here, very easy kills. And now final stage, we're going to get CD reduction or special reverse it's called on the units, but Robin Koala resists that, that's very nice, we can ignore it. Viv support gives us a Dex Orb, which lets us use Frankie. I used the EX first, just yes, so I don't forget it. It's very easy to forget the EX. So we get super cast buffs from the EX and that increased chain multiplier. Frankie special gives us an attack boost. And Wiper will set the defense to zero and give us a death down conditional. So we're going to have a lot of damage with this team. Uh, remember to hit first with Soro Sanji if they're quick, because they don't really do any damage. And then just get the Super Tandem proc and you will easily get the kill. So yeah, I hope this team is helpful. I actually made an extra team that I'll probably upload whenever I have room. So yeah, look forward to that. See so, yeah.
thanks for watching guys. See you next time.